is now ahead of these high profile listings is Renaissance Capital principal and co-founder Kathy Smith. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so in speaking with sources, all I hear is that it's going to be a very, very busy month. The pipeline is strong, uh, maybe bleeding a little bit into October, but it seems like companies are looking to take advantage of relatively high valuations for their compar comparative peers in the market, uh, as well as maybe getting out ahead of some volatility induced by the election. Uh, what do you think is really causing this surge uh, of issuance right now? Well, it starts with good returns for investors who are in the IPO market, and the returns on the, our indexes have been very strong. Many IPOs are these new economy companies, so they fit in well to the profile of what investors are looking for. And we, it certainly doesn't help, uh, it doesn't hurt to have the Fed keeping rates low. And as long as inflation's not in sight, we're looking at growth companies that are being valued at very high multiples because the discount rate is close to nothing. So we're in a kind of a perfect environment for these kinds of companies that are going public. And it's good to see they're, they're coming out and uh, it's smart to do that because there's a lot of locked in liquidity in the private market. And they're now moving forward to tap the public market in, in many different ways. Well, speaking of performance, you, you all did a, a report recently looking at SPACs and the performance uh, compared to traditional kind of operating company IPOs and found that they do tend to offer lower returns than traditional IPOs, at least going back to 2015. Uh, everyone who, who comes on our air, who's doing a SPAC, who's focused on SPACs says, no, but this time is different. This SPAC 2.0, it's more institutionalized. It's got more, you know, high profile, big name investors in charge at the helm here. Uh, do you think that things are different this time in terms of performance for SPACs? Uh, is this whole SPAC wave here to stay? Or a year from now, will we be looking back and saying, eh, maybe we shouldn't have really plunged into that pool? Well, we think the jury's still out. I mean, the returns have to be there. And I, they are trying to improve the structure. But our studies show that the returns on the SPACs that have made acquisitions have been negative over the period that we studied when regular way IPO returns have been positive. Now they get a lot of attraction because we've had, there's been some real moonshots that have come out that possibly couldn't have tapped the regular way IPO market. DraftKings, Nikola, uh, Virgin Galactica. So uh, there are some of the exceptions, but as a rule, they have not performed well for investors. You need to be very quick at exiting before an acquisition is made, a good active manager, in other words, to, to play this asset class correctly from the investor side.